What is up guys, David Maximitsch here. In the previous video I talked to you about what's new. A new chair. Well, obviously, the space is new, in a way. It's an old new workspace. But on top of all the things I talked about, I, I talked to you about the guitar that arrived from Chile. Uh, it's called Vimana and it's the one right here. It was held by Serbian Customs for a month and a guitar sitting in a case for a month, not being played, especially a new guitar. It can be, you know, not really good for the instrument. So yeah, um, when it arrived, it was in kind of bad shape. A lot of buzzing on a few strings, especially in the lower frets. So I took it to Dalibor for a quick setup and he took care of it like it's one of his own guitars. So. Turns out Vimana is an amazing instrument after all. And I guess the reason why I didn't do like a, a presentation or a review of some sort of the guitar because it was, I wanted it to be in a perfect shape or something like this. So I guess I can talk a little bit more later and I'm gonna try out the guitar properly for the first time uh, and share the experience with you guys. So yeah, <laughs> let's do this. Quick side note. Instead of using my XFX for this video, I'm gonna use Line 6 Helix Native. And I want to say a quick thanks to Line 6 guys for providing me with the software. And honestly, I don't have a tone ready for this, so I'm gonna make a quick tone. So let's see how Helix Native stacks up. I'm really curious. Okay, so I'll try some clean tone first. I'll do a different amp for this one. I'm gonna do the Fender type amp. So let's see how this sounds. Just wanna make sure that I'm recording audio. Well, that's it. Yeah, we are here. Huge reverb, huge delay. Because that's how I like it, so let's see. I'll start with the bridge position. Try split. position that's both pickups at the same time I guess
Okay, that's nice. There is a huge variety of tones here because these two pickups are, at least from what I'm hearing, not like, not really similar. Like, there's so much more bass in the neck pickup. I guess that comes as natural because of the pickup position as well, but but I feel like they're pretty different pickups. I'm not sure if I'm if I'm right or wrong. Maybe it's just the guitar doing its magic, but I kind of like that the fact that they're actually they sound different. Oh, this is, so I have to tune. These are some fresh strings, so. I'll start with some casual dirt and then I'll I'll turn on the, uh, the overdrive pedal and we'll see what happens. So this is without the overdrive pedal. Turn on the overdrive and jump into some heavier stuff, I guess. Try the both pickups at the same time. I guess this position is kind of cool for this kind of riff. Let's try split and neck. Yes. And then neck pickup. Well, that's pretty fucking awesome. I guess I couldn't say thank you enough to Felipe Gonzalez and Dimana for this beautiful instrument. So Felipe Gonzalez, the main luthier behind these guitars, asked me to give a name to this guitar model because they haven't made something like this before. He asked me if I can do a science-related name. The first thing that came to mind was Mammoth, simply because this being, you know, um, resembling kind of a shape of Telecaster guitars and then being a 7-string and this like ivory-ish kind of white kind of color. So that was the first thing that came to mind and he agreed like immediately and I guess that name sticks to these models and that's actually super super cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I recorded a unboxing video which just I gave you like a glimpse in my previous video of and I'll just play that I guess at the end of this video you guys can watch it until the end or not but that's that's pretty much for this video i hope you liked it i hope my playing was satisfying enough and that i presented the tones of 
this beautiful instrument in a good light. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in one of the next videos. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.